Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a video that I was really excited about because it involves food and everybody loves food. I'm actually really hungry right now, so I'm excited to do this. So today I'm going to be doing a battle of the boxes. I have always loved the whole snack subscription service thing. I thought it was really interesting and I love to try new things. So those have always appealed to me in a way and I always wondered what is the best one. I'm going to be showing you two boxes and we are going to compare them and see which one you know would be better for you people have different values in their snacks so you never know what somebody would choose so i'm going to show you both of these and tell you what they're both about so i'm going to start with munch pack and munch pack this is the munch pack mini which is the smallest one you can get which runs at 9.95 for about five or six snacks depending I believe they don't always give the same amount I think and sometimes if it's like a candy you'll get more than one piece of it you never know this munch pack it kind of like bases its whole thing around they're giving you snacks around the world it's not all from the US it's not all from Japan it's not all from Mexico whatever it's all around the world different kinds of snacks are in this box you can choose to get this shipped monthly weekly or every two weeks depending on what you want and they have a few different sizes as well Munch pack is customizable, so you can choose like they have like at least 12 different options spicy, chewy, crunchy, candy, salty, you know, whatever. They have a bunch of different things you can pick what your preferences are so they can kind of cater your snacks to those preferences. You can also pay five dollars to get a drink each month, whether that be soda or tea or coffee or whatever, they will send you a drink as well. That's basically the um big part to make up munch pack. So I'm going to open this. So you open the box and they always started off, this is the second time I've gotten a munch pack by the way. So they always started off with a little paper. So this one says enter to win a free family pack. It's kind of like comic book-ish so I don't know if that's like the theme or whatever. But the first thing I see in here is a Piper's Crisco Al Atlas Mountains Wild Thyme and Rosemary. So this is like a US probably based thing. And this looks like potato chips which I am a huge fan of potato chips. So. Wild Thyme and Rosemary, that is interesting. I don't know whether I'm going to try all of these things. So this is what the chip looks like. It's very crunchy, kind of like kettle cooked. Did they say that on there? I guess crisp co would mean kettle cooked. I don't know. It smells like spices. So I guess that would make sense since there's Wild Thyme and Rosemary. So I'm going to try it. These are so good. Oh my word. It kind of tastes like salt and pepper chips. Have you ever had those? But they're like, these are like way better. That's the other good thing about these snack boxes. You can see if you like stuff and then you can go buy it yourself. The next thing we have in here that looks like it's from America would be this Goldfish Giant Grams made with cinnamon. I'm actually not going to try these because I've tried these before. The kids and Nanny have had them. It's like a huge goldfish that's in the size of a cookie. And these are the cinnamon flavor. Next thing we have in here, which I've never heard of and I don't know if it's from the U.S. But this is a Brodrick's The Cake. Crusader and this is in mini caram caramental. So I guess this is caramel. Should I try it? I'm gonna try this. Oh! <laughs> one everywhere. So this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. It's a little broken up. It smells delicious. It's got chocolate, caramel, and then like this cookie base. Oh my. And it's definitely a melt in your mouth type of cookie. This is like shortbread, I would say, or something, but it's like really crumbly. Every time you get one of these um, boxes, the same goes with Love With Food, um, they're always different, so this isn't like what you'll necessarily get in your box. So, yes, I'm trying these, but I'm doing it more because like who looks at food and doesn't want to try it? Come on. The next thing in this box is a Costa cereal bar, and I'm guessing this is from another country as well. And this says Frutast Yogurt Cereal Bar. It has fruit and yogurt, so looks like peaches, apples, granola, that type of thing. Wow. It's very, uh, chewy. The makes the cereal almost taste stale. Yeah, this I'm not a fan of. There's two more things in here, and the first thing are high chews. I've definitely heard of these. And these are sours, so this is the lime flavor. Wow, my husband's probably really gonna like these. <laughs> so let's try it. Oh my gosh. It's definitely chewy. Tastes so good. I love lime. Anything citrusy. So the last thing in this box is a Mayapa peanut. This looks like the little, what are those things called? Wafer cookie, peanut buttery things. I have these in the like cabinet over there, but they're the American version. Like the Nutty Buddies, I think that's what they're called. I don't know. 
This is definitely better than the American version. So yes, in this box we got a total of one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. What the heck, Em? One, two, three, four, five, six different snacks. My favorites would have to be the high chews. These chips, I loved them, and I liked this as well. So those were my favorites of the box, and that is Munch Pack. You can also, it says on the top of this, download the Munch Pack snack scanner, and you can scan the bar, your, the barcode of the snacks and save your favorite ones, so you can remember that for later, so that's kind of cool as well. On to Love With Food. So Love With Food has a lot going on on that site, and it's kind of cool, actually. So with every purchase, they donate to the food bank, which is very cool, and they base their whole box around healthy and new snacks. It starts at $7.99 a month and you get seven plus, it says, different kind of snacks. You get points per box so that you can redeem it on things. Also, these boxes are not customizable and they are shipped every once a month. So they have a May box, an April box, June box. They also have a gluten-free option. So this is the smallest box. This is called their tasting box. And they have a deluxe box and then they have the gluten-free box. And something else with Love With Food is they have a snack shop. So you can shop right on their site for different snacks that you like if they don't have them in your grocery store. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box. It is wrapped and surrounded wrapped. The packaging for Love With Food was way better than Munch Pack. Munch Pack, both times I've gotten it, it's come a little indented and it doesn't have this cellophane wrap or whatever you want to call it around it, which I really like that this has that. I feel like it's better for shipping, but anyways, yay. Snack Smart Do Good is their slogan, and they have a box that's opened just like the other box, the Munch Pack box. Whoop! When you open it, it also comes with a little card on top. Their card says, Be the Change Tasting Box, so that's their theme this month. We are going to get into this. Ooh, dang it, I already see something I'm not gonna like. <laughs> For any of you who have heard my cry of that I don't like coconut, from the video I did with my husband where we tasted candy from China. Then you'll remember I don't like coconut and these are toasted coconut chips. So I probably won't like these. I like to try new things though so I am going to try it for the sake of this video. Oh, I did not expect them to look like this. Tastes like coconut. Not a fan. So the next thing in this box is the Kashi Chewy Nut Butter Bars Salted Chocolate cr Chunk, which I love Kashi bars. Real good. Last month I got a granola bar in this box and it was amazing. Loved it. Had to write it down. Forget about it, what it is exactly now, but it was like a mango fruit one with chia seeds in it. You guys have to try that bar. I really, really, really liked it. Love of Food did this last month too. They had two pieces of candy in here um, that were from another country and they those ones were espresso candy. These are ginger candy. I don't like ginger, so I'm not going to try this. Sorry, can't do ginger, guys. But that is kind of cool that they give you two little pieces of candy. Then next we have in here the Surf Sweets Organic Fruit Bar, Fruity Bears. These are like coated in sugar. I don't know how healthy that is. Wally's are really sticky. I've had better. It says, I cut off like the nutrition facts. Way to go, Em. But it says they are made without corn syrup, which most of these types of things are made with corn syrup. And they are made without the eight common allergens, which is great for people that have really bad allergies. And there's a few other things on here. So that would be a good option if your kid or you has a lot of allergies or something and you really want them to be able to eat fruit snacks. So yeah. Next thing in here is the GFB Gluten-Free Bites Dark Chocolate Coconut. Don't like coconut once again. I will try these though because it's only coated in it. Oh, I already don't like these. Sorry guys, can't do coconut. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, bad months to put coconut in my box of with food. Ooh, they have a lot of stuff in this box. Oh, another ginger candy. So they gave me three of those. All right, next thing in this box is these Utz Original Potato Chips. I kind of don't like that they put that in here because this is a very common brand, common snack, at least to me. I feel like if I'm paying for healthy foods, this should not be in here. But last month there was like a Wise um, popcorn bag in here too, so maybe they just do the one of these for per box. They give a lot of snacks, so for $7 to get this many snacks, I guess, Fine, you can put potato chips in here. 
I shouldn't be complaining about potato chips because I really like potato chips and it's still be nice to have. But yeah, just a little bit of like a cheapy type thing in my opinion for getting a snack box. Next thing they have in here is the 180 gluten-free oven baked kosher almond pops with blueberries. I am excited for these. These are so cute. Oh, these are crunchy. Oh, these are good. This tastes like it would make a good cereal. The last, I think this is the last thing in this box. Is this Burt's Bees Start Your Day with Delicious Protein Shake. That's kind of cool that they give you a drink. Um, this is the protein plus healthy radiance with antioxidants, vitamins A, C, and E. I don't know what it's going to taste like. Oh, vanilla. 15 grams of plant-based protein, 4.5 servings of fruit and vegetables, 25% daily value of 12 essential vitamins in every glass. And it has a blend of non-GMO and organic ingredients. It's a powerhouse of nutrition in every sip. So that is the Love With Food box this month. They gave one, two, three. So they gave about eight snacks, um, including those little candies. So I guess if you would include each individual candy, it was like 10 snacks. I would say my favorite, I can't pick a favorite box. I really like that Love With Food does the healthy thing. Um, but this month I wasn't crazed about everything. Like last month I really liked their box. Um, but this month, because of the coconut and stuff, I just personally didn't like it. But if you liked coconut and stuff, then that would be great for you. And like I said, I do like the healthy factor of that. Munch Pack, I definitely love those chips. I can't get over those chips. I feel like Munch Pack could lower their price a little, but maybe because, you know, it's from around the world, it's just better for them to have it a little more pricier to get those kinds of snacks. So, personal preference, which one would you try? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. If you've tried one of these, which one do you like better? If you have like a longer experience than I do with them. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.